What's up guys? So in this video we're going to be showing you how to make a beer can chicken with a Weber roaster. A very simple recipe, very simple all the way around. Um, in the beginning of the video I didn't show you but all I started out with was just a regular whole chicken from Publix, wherever. Just a standard whole chicken that you're going to pat dry. Um, that's about all the prepping you really have to do for it. If it has a neck you'll have to cut the, the neck off and trim up any, any fat pieces on the outside that you want to. And that's about it. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment on this video. Let me know how you guys like to do things. Always looking to try some new things. Um, and that's it. So here we go. Add a little olive oil to the skin. Just a, I've already added a little bit. Um, I patted this chicken dry fully. And I went ahead and added a little bit of olive oil to it. And I go ahead and get that olive oil all over the skin. This is going to help the skin really crispen up. Even the back, I like to do all up underneath the wings, top of the wings, all over the back. And that's it. That's it for the oil. That's enough. You don't, I don't like to use too much. I think that was a pretty good amount. And now I'll show you the seasonings that I'm going to use. So I'm going to be using two types of seasonings today. Simple rubs that you can buy. This is one of my favorite. It's Fox Brothers Barbecue Rub. This is one of my favorite rubs to use on a chicken, period. Um, you can pick this up at Publix, Kroger. I don't think Walmart sells this. Um, but it's about five bucks, a, five bucks a bottle. And now the second one I have not used yet. I picked it up at Academy. It was the first time I had seen it. And this is called Hardcore, Hardcore Carnivore. Had good reviews. Um, taste a little bit of it. It's got a little bit of a spice to it, but we're going to see how it turns out. So like I said, we're going to be mixing this. So since this is the one with the spice, I'm not going to add too much of it. I'm going to really coat that skin with this Fox brother. So this skin turns out excellent with this rub. I like to get up underneath the wing, on top of the wing, over the wing, pretty much the entire chicken. I want to be coated with this, with this rub. And I'll go over it a couple of times. I'm going to mix some more of this carnivore in on the back. Feel free to get it down inside the chicken. You're only going to add more flavoring to it, so. All right. Well, that's pretty good looking there. All right, there we go. Now that we have our chicken seasoned, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're going to be using. So this is going to be a beer can chicken. Um, a lot of people like to use different types of beer. I like the Bud Light. I'm not a big beer fan, but I do like the beer flavor inside the, inside the chicken. A lot of people use a real stout beer, a Guinness. Um, I like plain old Bud Light. It seems to work incredibly well. It evaporates well into the chicken. But we're not going to be using the standard beer can holder that you see. I actually picked this up. It's made by Weber. And it's called the Deluxe Poultry Roaster. And what you do is you just pour your beer right here in the center of it. I fill it up 
I let it I let it overflow a little. I even add a little bit in here. And what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add some potatoes in here, season them up real nicely, and let the potatoes cook with the chicken. And you get a fabulous flavor from the beer, from the potatoes, from the seasoning. Everything comes together really nice in this roasting pan. And it comes with this, and that just sets right on top. And then you just place the chicken right on top of it. So we're just gonna go ahead and open up our chicken. And place our chicken down on those spikes, just like that. I like to leave my wings out just like that. I don't necessarily like to tuck them in the back like some uh, some people do because I like to get these outsides uh, on the winglet tips. I like to get those a little bit crispy too. Makes for a really, really nice wing. And it also came with this little plug. And this plug goes right down into the center of the chicken. It seems to fit perfectly on every chicken I've done. And that just allows that beer to evaporate up into the chicken and actually just penetrate the inside of this chicken fully without it just escaping right by it. Fantastic. So we've got the beer can chicken on the master belt. Got our temp probe hooked up. We're gonna be running at 375 degrees. Probably take about an hour, hour and 30 minutes or so. And I'm just running some BNB lump mesquite. Um, nothing too fancy, just some BNB lump charcoal. Seems to burn incredibly easy. It seems to get up to temperature very quickly. So we're gonna see how this works. And if you're not familiar with the master build, I'll give you a little tour right now. So this is the master built 560. It's the smaller of the gravity feed. Um, there's the hopper, you know, you just put the charcoal in there and here's where you actually light it from. And you can hear the fan wind down once you open it up. Uh, it's a very good grill. It's got a couple of little issues, nothing too major. I added this little shelf right here. Um, it's a nice folding shelf that I added. Doesn't take long at all to, to add, you know, breaks down very easily. And you just lift it up, clicks into place. Meat Pro built in. Uh, grill stays pretty consistent. Um, Pretty nice overall grill. I'm gonna do a full review on this grill in the next coming days and we'll see how it goes. But for right now, we've got the beer can chicken on with the potatoes. This should be good. All right, guys, so we're working on this beer can chicken uh, that's not in a can, it's in a roaster. But I just wanted to give you guys an update. So we're about an hour in, getting pretty close to finishing time. And my meat probe, on the master belt went out and I'm gonna get into this later but these meat probes are proprietary to master belt you can't just plug another one into it and it work so so I went ahead and got my thermo pro hooked into it let me show you what we're looking like this thing is looking good those potatoes are really really starting to pop really good you can see them that chicken skin is starting to crispy up. You can really see the wings starting to separate. It's looking really good. Uh, just now, I just bumped it up to 400 degrees. And what that's gonna do is that is going to allow the skin to get really crispy. That's what we want. In about 10 more minutes, I'm gonna bump it up to 450 and that skin is gonna get extra crispy. And it's gonna be just the, low, just the way we like it. Uh, so. I'll be back shortly. All right, guys. So we just took the beer roasted chicken off of the grill. Just want to show you. All I did was just wrap some foil over it lightly, let it sit for about 15 minutes. Um, chicken, you don't need to really let sit that long. You know, I don't find any difference after about 15 to 20 minutes than I do letting it sit 40 minutes. 
So, let's see what it looks like. Oh yes. Now that is a very good looking chicken right there. That skin is nice and crispy on the outside. It's very moist still. On the inside you can look down there and still see a lot of that moisture in there. This is a very, very good looking chicken. You can see the, how the potatoes rendered. Um, you can see all of the all of the juice and the liquids that have formed in there. You can see how the skin started to break in the back and really started to pull apart. That's uh, that's about the best you can do on that. That is really, really beautiful. So I'm going to take it off of our roaster, set it on my pan, and get it cut up. That's one thing I like about this piece of equipment a little bit better than I like about the standard uh, little roasting stand where you actually use the beer can is because it, every time it comes perfectly off of the roasting pan. And whereas when you use the beer can, it always gets stuck, it's messy, gives you a lot of problems. Set that to the side. We're just going to lay our chicken down and we're going to slice into it and see what it's about. Very good. Very juicy. You're able to just cut right through it. Look at that. Very, very juicy still. Trying not these wings just falling right apart. Very good. We're gonna turn it over and see if we can take a whole leg off without it falling apart. Look at that, that chicken just falls right apart. I mean, very little force. And the whole chicken just falls apart. I try to keep the legs whole. I know some people like to eat the whole leg, so I try to keep those whole, set them to the side. But that chicken, that is a beautiful, perfectly done chicken. Every part of this chicken is just fall off the bone, extremely moist. Even the breasts where usually you, You'll see a lot of um, a lot of the dryness comes from the breast, and that is just absolutely perfect. So, if you like this video, um, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, let me know how you guys do it. Let me know if you guys like it. Let me know. Uh, let me know how you guys do it. I'm always looking to try new things, try new rubs, try new recipes. Um, but I think this one turned out great. But like I say, if you like it, comment below, let me know. Thanks. I just wanted to give you guys one more good look here. Um, just at this chicken and just at the skin and just how incredibly uh, juicy this chicken actually turned out. I know the uh, last view wasn't probably the best, so I just wanted to kind of redo it and kind of just show you just how great this chicken actually looks. The wings look incredible. Um, you know, every bit of every bit of this ch every bit of this chicken just falls apart. Um, and this is what the potatoes look like after um, you know all of the juices are setting. These are going to be excellent as well. Uh, the potatoes are one of the best parts when doing this roasting recipe. The potatoes in my opinion, are probably come out better than the chicken. It, they're just fabulous. So you can't go wrong with this little recipe. You can't go wrong with the way that... The